Hi there, I'm Michelle and welcome to my next how-to video. Today I'm using my love for scrapbooking and I'm going to make a home decor project with an old window. Um, along with the window I'm going to have some of uh, hybrid scrapbook pages. I like hybrid scrapbooking and some really pretty metallic vinyl from Style Tech Craft. And this project is going to be so pretty, it's gonna hang in my living room. So the best thing about it that I think is when I get tired of these pages or photos that I have in there, I can just exchange them out for new ones later and hang it back up again. So if you wanna follow along, the supplies that you're gonna need are an old window. I'm gonna use this um, long one back here You'll need a printer so you can print out your photos or scrapbook pages, which you will also need. Um, some vinyl, like I said, I'm going to use this teal from Style Tech Craft. A silhouette or cutting machine. Some glue dots or some way to adhere your photos or pages to the window. And then we're going to need twine or wire to hang the window when we're done. So I hope you guys will stay with me through the tutorial so you can see just how easy it is to have your photos displayed in your home in a beautiful and unique way. So let's get started. Right, here's my craft space and I have my window laid out. I've already cleaned it up and got it on some newspaper so I can paint. And now I'm just going to tape off the edges on the glass so that when I paint I don't get a lot of paint all over the glass. I know some will go onto the glass. Um, that's okay. You can fix that. Just don't want it to be smeared all over the glass. This blue tape, painter's tape, is awesome, and I chose the wider tape so I would have a little more room to smudge and smear if I accidentally did so. So I'm just going to go all the way around. My camera wouldn't quite fit all the way to the end, so sorry about that when I'm working at that one end and you can't see anything. Okay, now that I have it all taped up, I'm going to start my painting. This is my green paint that matches everything else I have in my living room. I've done a TV media cabinet and my footstools. And so I wanted this to match as well since it's an accent on the wall. Just stir up the paint a little bit. I already stirred it well earlier, but just give it a little quick stir. So now I'm just going to start painting all the way around all the wood. I'm going to get in the edges on the inner edges and then at the, at the last part I did all the outer edges. I love this green. It's not quite lime, but it's it's kind of a yellow green and it's not quite sage, I guess. I don't know, but I, I really like it a lot. over and do the other side here. That would be the top. And I actually put two coats of paint on this. I'm not going to show me painting the second coat, um, but I did do two coats. And when I finished the second coat, I actually removed the blue tape right away while the paint was still wet. I'm 
Okay, just get that finished up, make sure it looks good. And now I let it dry. And there it is with the paint removed. Now, like I said, I got some paint on the glass. I'm using a single edge, edged razor blade to take off that extra paint. It just comes off really easy. And it makes a nice sharp edge too. And then I just kind of cleaned off the glass because that left a lot of little pieces of paint inside there. I'll just use a wet paper towel and cleaned it off. Then I was ready for my distressing and this distressing I'm going to use my black ink pad which is kind of strange. It just creates a distressed look. It's not actually distressing. So there's no sanding involved. Um, I started in that corner on the actually on the bottom just to make sure that it would look okay and then nobody would be able to see that part if it didn't look okay. But I liked it so now I'm going all the way around on the corner edges um, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but it's leaving the black ink on the edges and it gives it a really nice distressed look without having to do all the sanding or a dry paint. Now I'm using a cream wax over the top of everything to give it a nice um, coat of seal and when you, when this is dry and you buff it out, it gives it a nice smooth sheen. It's, it feels really soft and smooth and it, there's a nice sheen to it and I like that. It looks, to me, it looks really professional. So you just brush this on and probably I should have left that blue tape on while I did this part but it, this was kind of an afterthought for me after I already had taken the tape off. And I'm lazy so I didn't put more tape on. This is clear and I know I can use that razor blade again to get it off um, but also you'll see in a second but when I did that inner edge I switched out my brushes and I my brush and I used a much smaller brush so that I wouldn't smear it all over the window I was a little more careful but you just Put this on and then you let it dry. There's my smaller brush. And this is the clear cream wax. There are different colors you can get that kind of make it look a little grungy or weathered, but I kind of just wanted the, the clear this time. Okay, it's all dry, so now I'm going to buff it out, and this is actually a little, like I took an old t-shirt and cut it up into rags, and so you have to give it a little pressure, but you want to buff it all the way around and get that nice sheen, and it gets really smooth, like I said before, I just love this stuff. Get the edges. It looks great. And I'm cleaning off the glass again. <laughs> Constantly cleaning off the glass with this window. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the fun decorating part. So this is one of my designs that I'm going to cut from the teal metallic glittery vinyl to the moon and back and that's actually going to go on the glass. These 
are going to be cut out of the same vinyl, the love, my life, and family, and the stars, they're going to go on my pages. I did some digital scrapbooking pages for this. So I wanted to show you guys how you can use vinyl on your scrapbook pages too and have it in your home. You can put them in your book as well. So I've already used the transfer tape and I've cut out my vinyl, cut around it, and put the transfer tape on there. This is the transfer tape I'm using for the glass part. I'm not going to use this for the paper when I put it on my pages um, because there's different transfer tapes and that would tear my paper. So, but it's great for glass. So I'm just going to peel off the vinyl and the transfer tape from the backing and place it onto the window, onto the glass where I want it. Now this is pretty sticky, so you want to try to get it in the in the right spot. And I'd say if it's off a little bit, it's okay. Then peel your transfer tape off and you've got this beautiful vinyl. Okay, so this is where I had an issue. It was a disaster. I set it down like I just told you to, if you're going to set it down, make sure you get it in the right spot. I was trying to get it off there and it just would not come off. And it was pretty stuck to that glass and I could try to get some off but then it tore and then I couldn't get it back together. I tried. <laughs> but it was a disaster. But I didn't give up. I, I, I did not use this. It was just sticking everywhere. <laughs> um, but I got a new piece that so you can see there. I recut out the word and, and there it is. And what I did to fix this problem was I cut it very closely to the bottom, as close as I could, so that I could place it pretty close to the bottom of the window and have it come up nicely. I think what happened was that transfer tape stuck to the wood part and I was trying to remove it, but then in the meantime it also stuck to the glass and it wasn't in the right spot. Okay, so then I just finished the rest and after I figured out to trim that really closely to the bottom, the rest went on very smoothly. Now here are my pages. So I've already printed out these pages and what I did was I had already designed some pages with the title. I'll show you that in a second. Um, I printed those out too, but I wanted the three pages on here. My kids and their wife and girlfriend. And here's the one with the title and also the blue stars. So I removed those from my original pages and I'm going to use the vinyl for that instead. So I used the different transfer tape for the paper. When you're using this to go on to paper, you want to make sure you have the, the, bind, the transfer tape that is a lower tack. So I kind of want to mimic the original page and use the vinyl. And everywhere I had the blue print is where I added the teal stars and the title. And they turned out really cute. This would be really cute in a book as well. I'm a digital scrapbooker. I love digital scrapbooking. And, but sometimes you want to print them out and you want to use your photos. And this is a great way to use vinyl as well for your titles because it just looks so nice and so professional. And it's easy to stick down. If you cut this out of cardstock, which you certainly could, you would just have to glue it or adhere it down. Whereas the, this has already the adhesive on the back and it's just so easy. So I have my three pages done and I'm going to put them on the window. They're actually going to go on the back, but I just want to figure out my measuring, how far apart they're going to be before I turn the whole thing over. I actually decided th about three and a quarter inches from each end and in between and then a inch and a half from the top. 
So those are my glue dots that I'm going to be using in each corner of the page to adhere it to the glass so that it's the minimal amount of adhesive, but it will stay because it shows a little bit. It's not a lot. You can't really tell too much, but it does show. And I think I tried several different adhesives and these, these are the strongest and the, the best for making it actually stick to the window and glass and stay there. I'm just getting my measurements back so I know I have it correct. And now I'm going to take my glue dots and I'm just going to put one in each corner of the paper page. But I like to put take my page to my glue dot and pull that little glue dot off the backing. Then I'm not touching it with my fingers. It's not getting any oils or any dirtier than it is. I mean, already. It's not going to have any extra. Plus, it just comes off nicely that way. Sometimes when you take it off with your finger, it rolls up. And you just kind of have to re-measure and try to make it straight. And I just did the same thing with all three pieces. You don't have to see all that. I'm going to turn it over here. It's heavy. <laughs> and there it is. It just turned out so nice. I just love it. So we also, on the back, instead of the twine or the wire that I said at the beginning of the video that we used, um, we decided to use the sawtooth picture hangers. Uh, one on each end, well about 8 inches from the end, to hang it because it's pretty heavy and we thought it needed that. So there's the sawtooth hanger that Jeff put on the back. And uh, there it is above my couch, which it's, that wall is still kind of sparse. I think I'll be adding some more vinyl maybe above and below the piece, but I think it turned out really fun. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.